Introduction to Biochemistry Firstly, we will see different branches of science. Starting from big to small, biochemistry is in between in this chain. Biology comes first, which is a vast topic. Then comes chemistry and physics. Now we will go further with introductory part of biochemistry. Biomolecules Study of biochemistry starts with biomolecules. All living organisms are composed of similar chemical compounds called biomolecules. Example, bacteria, fungi, protist, plants, animals. All these living organisms are composed of biomolecules. Carbon atom. Carbon atom is one of the basic compound of any biomolecules found in living organism. You can see here two concentric circles which is known as outer shells or valence shells. Outer shell consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 valence electrons. Thus, Carbon to carbon atom interaction forms a covalent bond, which is the strongest bond. Similarly, hydrogen atom is having only one valence electron in its outermost shell. Thus, carbon hydrogen interaction also forms the covalent bond. In the same manner, four hydrogen atoms combines with one carbon atom to form methane. Even oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, all this atom forms a bond with carbon atom. The bonding between carbon and hydrogen atom forms a chain which may be straight chain, branch chain, ring chain, double bond ring chain. So here you can see carbon should complete the four bonds to have the complete chain. There can also be double bond between carbon and carbon atom in a straight chain. In the same way, there can also be double bond between oxygen and carbon atom. So, this is double bond straight chain. Here we can see a carbon skeleton or backbone where any functional group can be attached to it. For example, here you can see hydroxyl functional group which is denoted as OH. So, when it is combined, we get ethanol. As OH is a functional group which is hydroxyl group, similarly, there are different functional groups like carboxyl group, amino group, sulfhydryl group, phosphate group and in which R denotes carbon skeleton or backbone. Here you can see O which is oxygen should have two bonds to complete its chain. C means carbon, carbon should have four bonds to complete its chain. Sulfur should have two bonds to complete its chain. N which is nitrogen should have three bonds to complete its chain. P means phosphorus should have four bonds to complete its chain. Now we will go with one more example. 
here we will use the carboxyl as the functional group where this combined with the carbon backbone to form fatty acid biomolecules but why fatty acid biomolecule instead of only molecule because fatty acids such as oils butter cheese etc are biological based molecules that's why we are using here fatty acid biomolecule let's see another example here we are using two functional groups one is carboxyl group and another is amino group when this both are combined with carbon skeleton we will get amino acid biomolecule same question here also why biomolecule word because amino acid means proteins which are eggs meat pulses etc and these all are based on biological based molecule that's why we are using biomolecule word biomolecules are classified into four different classes first carbohydrate second protein third nucleic acid fourth fatty acid we will see all these four classes in detail in the upcoming video thank you for watching